Oh, hey everybody. So I just recorded like the most awesome intro like ever. And then I go to turn off my camera and notice that my mic, my wireless mic wasn't even turned on. So instead of voicing over what I just recorded, I'll do it again. So we have the chicken hearts that we bought the other day. Um, we're gonna go up to Cabela's. I'm gonna have to repackage them because they got bloody on the bottom and they're leaking out the back. Uh, we don't want that in the truck. My wife will get mad at me. So I'm gonna repackage that, put it in a quart size bag and we'll head over to Cabela's. Hopefully there's not a lot of people out there right now. Uh, I know sometimes it can be depending on the weather. Like right now, it's not too, too bad. It's in the high 60s, about 67 right now. Um, there's a cold front coming in tonight. So hopefully there's not that very many people out there and hopefully the fish are biting. Um, I've heard that before, I've heard it two ways, right? Before a cold front hits, they get real dead. They don't want to do anything or they start eating a whole bunch because they can feel that cold front coming. So either way, we'll see if for some reason Cabela's is crazy packed because there's not a lot of room. There's no bank to fish from, right? You're just fishing off a little uh, docks. If there's no room up there, uh, there is a pond nearby that I've passed before that I've seen. It's pretty big, but I've never seen anybody fishing out there. Maybe we go out there and give it a try. I don't know. We'll see. So let me go and get the stuff packed up in the truck and we'll head out to Cabela's. Be back in a minute. Hey everybody, so we are here at Cabela's. Let me show you what it looks like. There's Cabela's right there behind those trees. Um, here is what the pond looks like. So there's actually a series of three ponds out here. This one being the biggest one. There's one there. It kind of flows into that one and one at the very top up there. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see it or not. You're probably not gonna be able to see it. But anyway, sorry. Um, the other smaller ones are usually really good for bass, uh, not so much for catfish, they're too shallow. Uh, this one I've been able to catch bass and catfish out of, uh, other, of course there's always a bunch of perch, or bluegill, sorry. A uh, lot of vegetation, if you can see, sorry I keep on fumbling, a lot of vegetation right here. So this is what I was talking about, there's hardly any bank, like on the other side, there's no bank at all, nothing. Over here, this is all you got. You got these one, two, three, four, five, six floating docks that you can fish off of, and that's it. Um, man, it wasn't this, didn't have this much vegetation, vez, gah, vegetation uh, last time. So we're gonna throw out some chicken hearts, like I said, Carlitos is gonna fish with bread. So hopefully we'll catch something, right? We have something that we know should work, which is the bread. Um, we'll try the chicken hearts. It shouldn't be that hard to rig them up, just uh, a weight and a hook and then toss it out, see what happens. So give me a second, let me get set up and we'll be right back. So we've been here for about, how long do you think we'd say about 10 minutes, 15 minutes? <laughs> it's already getting dark on us. Freaking daylight savings time, I swear. The sunset is supposed to be at 5.30, if you can believe that. 5.30, that's too god dang early. So here is the chicken hearts. I double bagged them because like I always say, I'm not trying to get the juice everywhere. Um, let's see if I can get good lighting. So I, I touched them when I was putting them in the bag. They feel, I mean, they feel like chicken, like actual, like if you were to get, like make chicken nuggets out of chicken tenderloins or chicken breasts, that's what it feels like. I thought they would be squishy or gushy or something, but no, they're not. So, oh, did you catch some? He's already getting hits. So since I'm just throwing right here, I'm not worried about putting weights on there right now. Um, if I'm trying to throw really far, that's when I usually go ahead and put a weight on there. So I'm just gonna do just plain old hook, same as like when I always do bread. So here's the chicken heart. It's weird, you can see the little artery or vein or something, there's another one there. Um, so I'm gonna hook it in the middle. Um, I don't wanna bury my hook too deep, so I'm just gonna throw it just like that. I got both of my poles. I'm gonna throw one straight ahead and then the other one off to the right. I don't know how fast they'll hit this or even if they will. There we go, that's about halfway across. Let me see where my drag is set, little, there we go. So again, these are circle hooks. So we're just gonna let them run with it. I'm gonna hit this one freaking nasty. But since he didn't hook himself, I'm thinking he probably grabbed the bottom, whatever is hanging off of the hook but it freaking got dark quick. You see Cabela's is lit up over there. It looks nice. Like I said, it's cool to be here because we have lamps here. So if you forget your headlamp, like somebody, I'm not gonna say any names. 
<laughs> There's light here. And then if you had to, I think Cabela's closes like nine or 10. So if you had to, you could run inside and use the restroom or get something to drink or something to eat. So it's pretty cold up here. Um, we come up here every once in a while, that line is tight. We come up here every once in a while. Every time they hit, I want to check it. Oh, your pole, your pole, your pole, your pole. Sorry. <laughs> you got to tell me, dude. Did you see? Look, 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 look. Something's on there. Or something's messing with it. Huh? Dude, something was hitting it nasty. Where are you going to the truck? <laughs> Did you see the your light though? Yeah. Oh, well, sweet. Put your bell on there. You should have told me that you were going up there. That would kind of kept the knot. I was gonna run over and I was like, hey, your 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 light, and then you're like a block away. <laughs> Sounds like you got something. Yep. Oh. Oh, that's the big. Freaking punk. I know I like you. Yeah, you got him. I thought it was a bat. He's long. Look at him. He's long and skinny. Ah. So one off the bread. Nothing at all. You gonna weigh him? Yeah. He's nice. Yeah, he's nice looking. Oh, that's good. Boom. Booyakasha. <laughs> what is he yelling? He's really in my pole. Does he have something? Up? Exactly. Right when I go to the truck to get a blanket. What happened? What is he? Oh, something. Oh, he got one. <laughs> it had to happen when I walk off, dude. Are you serious? And it was with a pole that didn't even hit. Oh, wow. Here, here, let me put this down. Wow. You can hold it. Dude, let's, let's weigh it. I want to see how much he weighs. Did he hit hard or how hard did he hit? How hard did he hit? I just I took off with it. Like, it didn't really? It didn't give me a hint to just went. Okay. Uh, 1 point, 1 point 1.9. Go ahead, hold him. Man, these fish are long, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, good job. Head. He does. That's a nice size. Look at that. There's my hand for comparison. Dang, and it had to happen when I walked off, dude. I was at the truck and I heard the bell ring and I'm like, oh, don't tell me he caught one. That's awesome. Woohoo. Let's get some more. He's on it? Oh yeah, you got him. Well, he's swimming, look at him. <laughs> got him. Dude, that was bigger than, that's a lot bigger than the first one. Dude, look at my eyes. Yeah, they are. They're long. What's up? So, bread, two. Chicken hearts, one. <laughs> you can hear them. <laughs> Got them? Yeah. Let me see. Hold them up. That's a lot nicer. 
That boy's a fighter, boy. Good job. You want to weigh him or no? Sure. Okay. Shoot. Come take the bell, please. He was fighting a while ago. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's pulling now. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's a good size. He's a good size. Can you grab him? Let's pull him out. Got him. Another long one. But I can get his heels. Yeah, that's a good size. That would be a good eating size. He's an eye, dude. Is he? Yeah, on this side. Look at that. Oh, he is missing an eye. Holy crap. God, poor fella. He's nice, though. He's pretty looking. He's got an eyeball on that side. Look at that. Let's weigh him. How much do you think he weighs? 1.5. 1.5, eh? I say 1.7. Oh, wow. Hold still, buddy. Dang. 1.96. And that's just with the, the gripper being on there, too, though. Oh, yeah. God, that eye looks jacked up. I don't know if I'd eat him if it's not yeah. <laughs> with his eye all jacked up. It's a nice looking cat. Good job. Two for two. Two off the bread. Two off the chicken hearts. Cool. All right, everybody. So we're done here. It's nine o'clock, believe it or not. It feels like we've been here like half the day. It's nine o'clock. It's in the 40s. <laughs> It's like 45, 46 degrees. We had no idea it was going to get this cold. I kind of had an idea because it's supposed to get into the 30s tonight. But anyway, we, we found blankets in the truck and we were bundled up. So the chicken harvest did good. I got a lot of hits off of them. I caught two, um, two keepers. Uh, Carlitos was fishing the bread alongside me. He also caught two catfish. He got a bunch of hits too. So uh, chicken hearts. I think they're really good. I like the way they feel. I like the way they stay on the hook. I like how they cast. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is, I think maybe next weekend we'll go to College Pond because we know College Pond has a lot of fish, right? We know College Pond has a lot of turtles too, but we know they have big catfish. So just because, and I think catching two fish I think is good. I think we did good by catching those. Um, like I said, it's cold right now. Excuse me, take this off. Oh. Sorry. So I know it's cold right now, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the fish. Maybe not biting as much as they could have been. But I think taking them to College Pond would be a good test as well. So what we can do, and I've been wanting to go fishing with my Navy buddy, Jose, for a while now. And then the whole COVID thing happened and everything had to get pushed back and whatever but i think we'll go if i can try and squeeze it in i need to see what the weather is going to be like if we squeeze it in next weekend we'll do that we'll do so we know the weenies at college pond is really good so we can do weenies and um chicken hearts because i like them i want to give them another try just to see how they come out i think we'll have good luck up there like i said it casts a lot better than like chicken livers would there's no mess there's it's not all squishy and falling apart you don't have to wrap it up it's really good, I think. So, and it was cheap too. We only used, I think I used maybe 10 pieces today. And that was what, three or four hours of fishing that we did? Six, seven, eight, nine. About three and a half hours is what we did. 
So uh, I would chalk this up a win for chicken hearts. We've got two good sized keepers. We can't keep them because we have to release them here at Cabela's. But I think they did really good. So I would definitely try them again. Um, would I use them over chicken livers? Yes. Would I use them over chicken feet? Yes. I would not use them over uh, weenies or bread. Weenies and bread, for some reason, have been so good with this. We've always had really good luck with them. So it's cold. I'm hoping my nose isn't all red. And I hope it's not running. If it is, please forgive me. It's in the 40s, like I said. Uh, I was bundled up as much as we could. We're going to go ahead and call it a night. We're starving. I think we're going to hit up. What did he say? Wendy's. Carlitos wants to go to Wendy's. We're going to go to Wendy's. So hopefully, like I said, I can get out there next weekend. We'll go hit College Pond, try some different things, try the chicken hearts again, see what we come up with, okay? So until I see you guys then, thank you and God bless.